guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I may look a little bit different, a little puffier, because I'm definitely, definitely very pregnant at this point. I'm 35 weeks along, so we are this close to giving birth. Anyway, um, I actually initially started filming this video couple days before Christmas and it was gonna go through not on Christmas Day but just through that week however um, if you follow me on social media or follow a lot of us moms in the community you probably have heard about the tragedy that Brittany Boren Leach and her family went through starting on Christmas um, until a, a couple days later and it just did not feel right for me to continue vlogging how happy I was at you know Christmas time when I knew that this family was going through a tragedy. I was crying for them every single day. I can't imagine, like, the way it made me feel, I can't imagine as a mother how that made her feel and how she is dealing with that. I'm not gonna go into details about what happened. You can Google Brittany at this point, but it was just a very tragic, tragic situation that happened, um, and it's every mother or parent's worst nightmare. Um, so just please keep Brittany and her family in your prayers because that, rocked our community so the following week after christmas everybody was just like kind of standing in solidarity with britney and um yeah i don't really even know what to say um either way that is why i stopped filming so that footage everything that i took i'm not even going to include but i did pick up my camera a couple days ago so i wanted to introduce this footage to you because it kind of just starts with us going to the store and i didn't open the vlog because i had previous footage that i wasn't quite sure if i was going to include or not and i'm not going to but anyway i just wanted to introduce this video because i told you guys that whenever we start doing stuff for margo i would film it and that's what I'm doing. So you may have seen it already on my Instagram, but we set up her, like her area in our bedroom. And so you're gonna be able to see like how I'm storing her clothes and her changing table and all of that in this video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah! You can get through. Just leave it right there. Mm. This is the stroller though that we are getting you guys. We just got the car seat and we are gonna buy a rumble seat for Bash. And yeah, I don't know, it's the Upper Baby Vista. Can you sit in it? Oh, that's perfect. I have to look at the directions again, but I can't remember if you put them in the big one, the top one or the bottom, the bigger child. Again. It may be this one. Do you like it? Oh my gosh, so we just got home and that trip was a little bit of a nightmare. I kind of showed it on camera, but Bash was just awful in the store like once we took him out of that stroller he lost it and basically like ruined the rest of the the time that we were there he eventually stopped crying but it just it wasn't the same but anyway i'm sitting here because um i've actually started filming this video like a week or so ago i was waiting for um us to put the changing table together to add to this video, which I think we're gonna do in just a couple minutes. My mom sent me a huge Amazon, I'm out of breath, walking up the steps. <sighs> Big pregnant mama problems, so just ignore it. But <laughs> my mom sent me a huge care package of things for just like the kind of like the necessities for once you have a baby. It's not so much a care package for like me, um, but just stuff that we need. So she bought, um, these are milk storage bags by Lansano. I'm feeling like I'm already gonna have an oversupply. I've been leaking probably for the last like two months now, every day, um, out of one side, but now the other side has started. I had a really bad oversupply with Bash, so I will be able to store a lot of milk if things go the same way they did the first time. Which, speaking of, these are Medela disposable nursing pads. Um, my friend Morgan gave me these. I was actually at her house the other day and she is done having kids, but she had an extra box. I also have a huge stash in our storage closet left over from Bash as well. So I don't think I will need any anytime soon. The next thing that my mom bought are these changing pad covers. She just bought blue and gray. I think we got these off of Amazon and then we have tons 
from Bash as well. So we only bought two because there just wasn't a need for a lot for hers. Next, she sent over some triple paste and this is just um, like diaper rash cream, although Bash has never, ever, ever had a diaper rash in the two and a half years he's been alive. And I used this more preventatively. If he had like a really bad diaper and it looked like it could make him raw, I would just put some on there. And never once did we ever deal with a diaper rash. And then she bought us two bags of six washcloths. And then we have this, which is a Frida Baby Derma Frida. This is for um, the scaly skin cradle cap. It says scaly skin here, but it's basically like a cradle cap brush or if they have dry skin or eczema. Bash got really bad cradle cap at the beginning. So um, it, this is kind of just like, if she gets it, we'll use it for her. And then the Halo sleep sack swaddle and if you guys know anything about us bash still uses his halo sleep sack and he is he's about two and a half he'll be two and a half officially next month and he's still using a sleep sack and so we got the small which is the three to six month so she'll have this basically till july and then the last thing is this changing pad we bought a changing table from our room i think we just got like a cheaper one from walmart and then this is from amazon or target a lot of people told me don't get changing pads and changing tables because the kids aren't going to use them but we still change all of bash's diaper on the changing table in his room and so i don't really plan on changing diapers all around our house everywhere we go so anyway that's that so now I need to figure out what Brandon's doing because I would love for him to put the changing table together, but I may start it on my own if it's not too hard. This is so embarrassing, but I guess you'll see the before and after now. All of the stuff that I am passing down from Sebastian is sitting on top of this desk. This is her diaper bag. Mash doesn't really use a diaper bag anymore. He has his own little backpack that we bring, but I can also use her things in here and then like you know throw a couple of his diapers in here as well and one change of clothes and this is a Jaylee and Co bag I can link this below I think it's cute it has like this quilted pattern on the front and then it has a changing pad that comes with it inside a huge pocket and some other things I will show this on a different video probably when I pack the hospital bags which is coming up soon because I am about to be 35 weeks. And then over here, because she'll be in our room and not have her own room, I basically have to hang everything that she owns. So we may get a second bookshelf, just depending on how all of this stuff fits on here. I need to buy some bins and see what needs to be folded and what needs to be hung up. But we have tension rods. I put one in already, just so that I could see what it would be like hanging her things. Don't worry, all that's coming down, that's Pippa stuff. All of this is gonna get hung up and or folded here's some swaddles and more clothes but anyway i just need to get all of this stuff organized and hopefully we can do that in just a second Ugh, okay brendan's about to watch some football so i didn't even ask him to put it together right now but i'm going to try to see if i can do it so i'm going to put y'all on a time lapse and we'll see what happens if he has to come and rescue the situation then we'll just have to do it later <laughs> but i think I can do this. Somehow I always manage to put things together and get things done when he's not home, but then like, I don't know, when I know he's home, all of a sudden something comes over me and I can never put anything together on my own. Okay, so I probably am not going to set you up on a time lapse while I do this, just because there's a lot of bits. I looked through the directions and I feel like it's something I can do. I just dumped out all of the pieces and hopefully, I can do it right. The last time I put something together though, there was pieces left over. So I think after looking through these directions, they're pretty straightforward. And I will just update you every time I get like a good bit of the structure together. I'm not even sure if these go with this. They were in the bottom of the box, but I didn't want to throw them in the trash. So, but I'm thinking, no, they don't. Everything has a, a alphabetical sticker on it. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Well, Brandon's in here because I've already had one malfunction. I was supposed to put this piece onto here. It's not even tightly on there, as you can see, but it cracked through the top. So Brandon said we can fix this. I mean, this thing was probably like $100, so it's 
kind of like a get what you pay for situation and this isn't necessarily dangerous but at the same time it's like we barely did anything and it already cracked through the top and you can see it going through here I was able to do that one with no problem but as you can see I stopped screwing before they went all the way in and that one is very tight on there and it's fine he's helping me now it turns out that it was actually my fault <laughs> that it wasn't loosening I confused these long ones with four shorter ones and I separated them but still got it wrong so I realized when I went to start this step that this these were the ones that I had in the wrong place going in under here and so I took them all out by myself and I'm proud of myself for realizing but I also damaged it so oh well I guess it'll just be a story I'll just be like yeah I broke it while I was doing it but it's all good now and um, this is definitely a two-person job just because you got to hold it up taking a Braxton Hicks break baby yeah mm. it hurts mm -hmm. well it doesn't hurt it just it's like a tight grip <sighs> my stomach feels like concrete like how tight it is mm -hmm. Well, let's try to finish so that way we can, you can relax, okay? Come on. Okay, we're almost done. I just wanted to quickly show you the finished product. That was the pad that came with it, but we're not going to use it. I'm proud of myself. Brandon had to come rescue me. Um, I realized I missed a huge step at one point and had to take one side off completely to redo it. But it is now on. All of the pieces <laughs> that they gave us are used as far as like construction is concerned. So now we just need to move this desk out of our room completely and then all of that is gonna go between here and there and potentially another bookshelf. All right, good morning. It's the next day and I've just, I mean, this looks like a disaster. Ignore the laundry over there. <laughs> but I've just been sitting here arranging newborn versus three months. There actually is a little bit of organization to what I'm doing. So all of these right here are about to get hung up. These are all newborns. This is zero to three, which will go in between. It will make a lot more sense once it's up and hanging and looking nicer. And then I have to continue going through that, but the pile is getting smaller. It looks a mess, but we're getting somewhere. All right, so I just had to close my blinds. This video is basically just constant updates of what I've been doing. But here is what we have. It is all of her daytime and some nighttime sleepers up on the top. This box is actually a dress that was given to me by Brennan's mother that was passed down through their family. So we're going to have that framed. Um, here are some swaddles and um, like matching headbands from Copper Pearl. A blanket, actually two blankets. These two are going to go to the hospital with us. In this drawer, which I just happen to find these in my closet. So here are just some onesies, like all the white ones that you put under their clothes. I have tons more. Um, and then just like around the house onesies that like when <laughs> we're here every day and no one's going to be here that she can wear. A few shoes. Obviously newborns don't really need shoes so she only has these three and I'm pretty sure she'll come home from the hospital in these just because it will be February. Here are a couple bows and things. I need to find a better way to store them but I just shoved them in there for now. And then here are um, a few pairs of pants, um, the nicer bibs and hats and then some muslin blankets and then some more clothes. Um, this side is a little bit bigger for her, but this over here is like newborn stuff. And there's a few more things I want to hang up on here, but I figured this is where I would end and show you the finished product. All right, guys, so that is all the footage that I took for this video. It wasn't really like a vlog vlog, but it just was showing you like what we've been up to as far as like getting things from Margot. There will be more like detailed haul videos and things like that coming soon. Also, um, Bash's two-year update, which is a few months behind, is coming up <laughs> soon too, but I know a lot of you guys have been asking questions about him. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.